process. A system has been designed and built and only when it proves unusable do they think to ask how to do it right. In other companies, usability is seen as equivalent to testing. Checking whether people can use it and fixing problems rather than making sure they can from the beginning. In the best companies, however, usability is designed in from the start. So, or design na ma pandrathu kumunadi, amalde process yepri start pannu. So, amalde constraints constraints ella na ma vangi the, adar na ma yepri start pannu, process yepri pannu. So, first starting yepri irkanu, adar ending yepri irkanu. Abdiing rathala na ma model leye na ma note pani vachte, na ma start pannu. So, that is the best company that is usability that is the starting design. So, this is an interaction design process. So, if we product a design for the product, we interactions, the process, the diagram. I think you have already in software engineering. So, what is wanted? First, what is the need? constraints we first collect. That is by interview ethnography that like you have to interview with the user avanga kitta nama first day ketittu nammude client kitta nama ketittu nama enna pananum enna enna thevigal abdingiradha nama therinjikkanum so what is there and what is wanted in already enna enna irukku nama adu nama engalukku enna enna theva abdingiradha nama therinjikkanum next process analysis so nama vandu avanga kitta irundhu nama or situation ah ketu vaangidom so, that is the task analysis and scenarios we collect and analyze. Next, we have to design by using the principles. So, design is one of the conditions, one of the guidelines. That is the way we design. Next, we have to implement it. We design it and implement it and we have to deploy it by characterizing the specification. So, that's why we use the architecture diagram, documentation, help, etc. So, we use the design of the prototype. So, we use the design of the user and the user. That's why we use the design of the user and the user. We check the user. Okay, that is dialogue notations. So, we check the user's constraints correctly. We check the user's constraints and evaluate the user's constraints. So, we have to check the user's constraints and implement the user's constraints. We have to check the user's needs and we have to check the user's constraints. So, we have to check the user's constraints and check the prototype. That means, check the user's constraints and the task analysis. Requirements. What is wanted? The first stage is establishing what exactly is needed. As a precursor to this, it is usually necessary to find out what is currently happening. Analysis. The result of observation and interview need to be ordered in some way to bring out key issues and communicate the later stages of design. Design. This is all about design. But there is a central stage when you move from what you want to how to do it. There are numerous rules, guidelines, design principles that can be used to help with us. Iteration and prototyping. Humans are complex and we cannot expect to get designs right at first time. We therefore need to evaluate a design to see how well it is working and where there can be improvements. Implementation and deployment. Finally, when we are happy with our design, we need to create it and deploy it. This will involve writing code, perhaps making hardware, writing documentation, manuals, everything that goes into a real system that can be given to others. If you have any doubts, leave your doubts in the comment section. Thank you.